Are you sending the same long prompts to Gemini every single day, copying and pasting text snippets, describing all your requirements, and uploading relevant attachments? It's the same tedious routine over and over again. It's like Groundhog Day, but with more AI and significantly less Bill Murray, and nobody wants that. But what if I told you there's a way to never do that again? Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the AI-first workflow consultancy. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can automate your most important Gemini prompts with Zapier. They'll run automatically in the background whenever specific events happen or on whatever schedule you set. This will save you time on prompt setup and integrate Gemini directly into your workflows in a much more scalable, maintainable way. Plus, you won't pay a single cent in API charges while you're building and testing. Let's dive in and get this set up. To automate Gemini, we need to use the API. API stands for Application Programming Interface, and it's basically how different apps can talk to each other directly. While users click buttons and fill out forms, apps send commands to each other in code. But don't worry, we won't need to write any of the code for this tutorial. That's why we're using Zapier. First, head over to aistudio.google.com. When you're using the API, you'll often see the term AI Studio instead of Gemini, but it's the same thing. Google just likes to keep us on our toes with multiple names for everything. Click Get API Key and then select Create API Key. This is the key we'll give to Zapier so it can access Gemini on your behalf. Choose Gemini API as the cloud project, then click Create Key in Existing Project. Copy that key because we'll need it in just a moment. Quick note here, you can actually view and copy this key later if you needed to. Many similar apps don't allow repeated viewing of API keys, so that's pretty convenient. Now jump over to Zapier, click on App Connections, and add a new connection. Search for Gemini, and then select it from the results. Click Add Connection. Paste in your API key, and hit Continue. Your connection is now enabled. And here's some great news about billing. You can set up billing in AI Studio if you want to, but you absolutely don't have to. Google provides free access to the API for testing purposes. You're limited to 5 to 30 requests per minute, depending on the model you use. The paid tiers offer higher rate limits and some other features, but that won't be necessary for following along with this tutorial. If you do upgrade to a paid tier later, you'll pay based on usage. The gist of it is that better models and longer prompts cost more, but we're usually looking at just a few cents or less per prompt, so testing out a few prompts isn't going to break the bank. Now let's build an actual Zap that sends automatic prompts to the Gemini API. If you're not familiar with Zapier, you can check out our latest beginner's guide to learn the basics. It's linked on your screen right now, and you can also find it in the resources board in the description. But I'll explain what I'm doing as we go so even Zapier newcomers won't be lost. Here's what we're going to build. We'll use this automation to have Gemini draft social media posts for each new article that appears in an RSS feed. First, every Zap needs a trigger. That's an event that prompts it to run. You can pick any trigger you'd like from over 8,000 apps, so there's no lack of choices. For our example, we're using RSS by Zapier. This one's very simple to configure. I'll just paste the URL of TechCrunch's RSS feed, and it's all set. Now let's test the trigger to pull in some data. Perfect. Zapier finds the three latest articles from TechCrunch. I'll pick this one to continue with because it seems relevant to our company's focus on AI and workflow automation. In the test window, we can see lots of useful structured data. We've got the title, creator, description, link, and more. We can use all of this to give our prompt helpful context. Once you've chosen your test data, click Continue with Selected Record. Zapier prompts you to add a new action, so let's search for Gemini. The event we want is Send Prompt. Choose the account connection you made earlier. Now you can configure your prompt. For the model, you can choose from several current and legacy models. We'll use 2.5 Flash for this example. System instructions let you provide background information. Think of this as the role for the AI to take on, plus any data to inform its responses. I'll tell it to take on the role of a social media marketing expert. I'll also explain X-Ray's core values and our perspectives on AI and automation. For the actual prompt, write exactly what you want the AI to create. I'll ask it to draft a LinkedIn post about the article we retrieved in the trigger. Make sure to include dynamic data retrieved from the trigger. Give Gemini all of the pertinent info about the article, like the title, description, and anything else that might be helpful. Think of it as giving your AI assistant all the context they need to not embarrass you on social media. If you want to upload a file, you can add it under Files to Process. We don't need to add a file for this example, but here's one thing to note you'll typically want to look for hydrate in the variable name when you're adding a file retrieved by Zapier. 
For example, this other zap triggers when we upload a voice memo to Drive. We'd use this hydrate variable to send the audio clip to Gemini. Now let's get back to our main example. Max output tokens defaults to 1024, but you may want to raise this to allow for longer answers. I'll increase it to 10,000. In the advanced settings, you've got temperature, top P, and top K. Hover over the I symbol to read tooltips and learn what each one does. Temperature adjusts predictability, so I'll lower it to 0.8 for somewhat more predictable, stable answers. We'll leave the other settings at their defaults. With the prompt configured, click Continue. Now, let's test this action. In the Test tab, we can review all of our settings and test the prompt. I'll click Test Step to send the prompt to Gemini. After a few moments, we've got a response. This is actually pretty good. It's a nice summary, and it puts a decent X-ray style spin on the news. We could go back and refine the prompt to provide additional info about X-ray's style and voice, but this is great for now. Next, we need to send this LinkedIn post somewhere we can actually use it. Need help setting up AI automations or other low-code workflows? Reach out to low-code engineers for expert support on a convenient hourly basis. Our hand-picked engineers will help you with Gemini, Zapier, Notion, Airtable, or any other app you're working with. There's no long-term commitment. Just book as much time as you need for your project and learn while you build with a low-code expert. Go to lowcodeengineers.com today to get started. Now let's get back to building this automation. I'll add a new action and search for Buffer. That's the app we use to schedule social media posts. The action we want is Add to Queue. For the configuration, I'll choose my organization, X-Ray, and select the channel, which is our LinkedIn page. For the text, I'll enter Gemini's response. The variable for the response has a bit of an odd name. It's called Candidates Content Parts Text. That unwieldy string of words just refers to Gemini's output. I'll specify that there's no media attached to this post, and I'll make sure it creates the post as a draft instead of immediately publishing it. It's always good to get some human eyes on AI content before posting. Now let's test this step. Zapier says it worked, so let's check Buffer. There's the new draft. This is awesome, but it would be nice to get a little nudge about each new post. Let me add one more step with Slack. I'll go through this quickly, since the setup is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to add a Slack message with an alert about the new draft, plus a link to my LinkedIn draft queue in Buffer. This will make it easy for me to check each new draft, edit it, and schedule it when I'm ready. Here's what the actual message sent will look like. Finally, let's add a filter. TechCrunch posts lots of articles, and many won't be relevant to X-Ray. So we'll add a filter to only generate social media posts for articles that match certain tags. Add a new step after the trigger and choose Filter by Zapier. We'll look at the Category field and see if it contains a relevant keyword like AI. We can also add as many other tags as we want with an OR condition. But for now, let's just test with the AI filter. The first article clears the filter since it has the right tag. The second one doesn't since there's no matching tag. That means the automation would stop right there and wouldn't waste Zapier tasks on articles we don't want to share. Perfect. And there you have it. No more copying the same prompts into Gemini day after day. You set up the automation once and it runs in the background doing the work for you. This example used RSS feeds and social media, but the principle works for absolutely any trigger and any prompt you can think of. New email comes in, Gemini summarizes it. New form submission, Gemini drafts a response. Calendar event coming up, Gemini prepares your talking points and researches your attendee. The possibilities really are endless. And remember, you're not paying any API fees while you build and test these automations, unlike the other guys. Try this with your own repetitive prompts and see how much time you get back. I think you'll be amazed at the difference it makes. And if you use make.com or n8n or Pipedream instead, let us know in the comments below. We'll make another tutorial about it on those platforms too. If this video helped you out, like and subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation updates every single week. You can also find me and my company X-Ray by searching for X-Ray Automation on nearly every social media platform. For now, I've got to go. So until next time, find your focus and stay in flow.